today we are going through the beauty boxes for the month of August. Um, I'm always excited about August because August is my birthday month so this is like an extra celebration for me. Uh, we, we're going to go through the four boxes. I will list the price points on the screen for each item and for the box itself. I only have one box that doesn't have all full size items. For that box I am only putting the full size price because that is what is listed. Um, so if you're looking for the individual price of the, the sample size, I'm not going to have that. I apologize, but I don't have any good explanation other than I'm lazy. But anyways, we are getting on to the first box and that is the Allure okay, box. So some of these boxes come with pamphlets that show me the price. There are some that don't. Um, I probably will mention it if I have it. If I don't have it, I'm going to tell you I don't have a price point pamphlet thing. I guess some of them are trying to go extra green and not put it in the box. I don't really know. All I know is for a lot of us, we prefer the prices in the box and they are stopping doing that for whatever reason and I don't like it, but you know, whatever. I'm still paying them money, so what, are, what am I gonna do? Okay, so the first thing we have is Tula Skincare Protect and Glow in SPF 30. That would be this right here. Um, I've used a lot of their skincare products and I absolutely do love it. Um, I, I really don't have any complaints about it, but I will tell you that like, I like their skincare because it's formulated so it doesn't really irritate your face as much or eyes if you do put it on your face, so I can't really complain. This is the tube itself, and this here retails for $38. Okay, next thing we got is Wow. I guess that's what it is. Color Wow in Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I'm not really sure what that does or what it's for. It says it retails for $28. The full size apparently retail is 6.7 ounces and this here in the box is only 1.7 ounces. Let's see what it says. Okay, so this is for your hair. I guess I should have known that. I feel like I should have known that, but I didn't know that. But So this is for your flyaway hairs to help tame it. Um, it is activated by the heat of your blow dryer. So if you blow dry your hair a lot, this is going to be a product you're going to want to use. Okay, so the next thing we got is Belief Aqua Bond Hyaluric 11% Serum. Hyaluric. Huh, I, I guess it's the hydro, well, I don't know. Anyways, I'm not gonna make up stuff I don't know. Um, this is the sample size, which is five milliliter. The full size is 15, and the full size retails for $32. Uh, let's go see what the um, mini product looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like. Um, I've mentioned before in some of my previous videos, I do like the small ones for when traveling or if I'm going somewhere, that kind of thing. Um, I generally don't go anywhere because I'm not exciting like that, but I do like to collect them and have them on hand. All right, the next thing we got is Benali Co. USA Clean It Zero 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm. That's a lot to put out there. Uh, this is what it looks like. This is a sample size of seven milliliter. The full size is a hundred milliliter, which retails for um, $19. I do use a lot of these products. I like to use them before doing a cleanse on my face. Basically any balm or oil cleanser I like to put on my face and wipe off, loosen and wipe off all my makeup before I really cleanse it. Simply for the fact it just breaks it up on the face a little bit and I like that. Um, the next thing we have is Laritzi Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Cure, and that's this right here. This is full size and it retails for $16. I have used their gloss before and I like it. Uh, what color is this? It says Curve. I don't know if I'm keeping it or not until I see the color. Uh, I think I'm going to let this one go into a giveaway. I usually do the massive ones. I do like this color. It's almost a Barbie pink. 
It is really pretty though. All right, so the next thing in this box is Larisse, Larisse. I can't ever say anything for the life of me, but anyways, it's a three-piece editorial brush set at Reese Tells for $30. These are nice brushes. I am gonna open it. We are gonna look at it because I collect brushes because I'm really lazy about cleaning them, and then when I have a big pile of dirty ones, I end up spinning sometime in the bathroom cleaning them. Um, but yeah, I just like to have a bunch on hand so I don't have to clean it all the time. I can just grab some other ones that I haven't used. Okay. So these are the brushes. You can see them right there. They are very soft. Um, I've used, like I said, I've used this brand of brushes before. They do feel really soft. They're not prickly at all. Um, they blend very well. They have these really nice grid handles, which I do enjoy quite, quite a bit. So I don't have any complaints about it. Very happy. And they're going to get so much use, you don't even know. All right, so the last thing in this box is, they say it's a bonus. Um, this is a sample, oops. So this is a sample size of a perfume from Victor Rolf. And I've gotten a sample of this before, a, a bigger sample actually. It smells really good. Um, the full size is 90 milliliter and retails for $180. This is only 1.2 milliliter, so yeah. But that is what it looks like. Obviously this is just a um, little, little vial if I can get it out. Okay, so here's the vial. It's really tiny. It does have a little pump so you can spray it and again this does smell really really good all right so the next box we are moving on to is ice cream beauty i think this is everyone's new favorite i mean ever since this has really made it on the scene it's kind of taken over the whole ipsy thing everybody is going crazy over this box and you're going to see why this is an indie beauty box and it is really nice Okay, so this one does come enclosed with a card with the prices, which of course I love. Um, let's see, the first thing we got here is a gloss. This is, see if I can find it real quick. Oh, this isn't a gloss. This is Matte Liquid Lipstick by Beauty for Certain. It is like this, and it looks like it's going to be a dark color. I have used this brand's gloss before, which is probably why I thought it was gloss. Their stuff is beautiful. I'm going to swatch this and you'll see what I'm talking about. See, it's kind of a nice rust color. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Actually, looks maybe a lot of shimmer, but it's really pretty and I really do like this quite a bit. Okay, so the next thing we got here is Mermaid Milk by Earth Harbor. I think this is a moisturizer. Earth Harbor, if I can get this to focus, they have some of the best skincare ever, and I'm not just saying that. I've gotten a lot of their products, and they're really, really good. I haven't found something I really hated yet, um, but I really enjoyed everything. This is what the jar looks like. And you can see here, the color of it is kind of like a mint green color. Not really a dark matcha color, but it's a kind of a mint color. But I think I think it has matcha in it. Yeah, spirulina and matcha. All right. And the next thing we have is some loose pigment by Mermaid Scales Cosmetics, and this retails for ten dollars. I'm not gonna open it because every time I open a loose pigment or a glitter, I get it everywhere, and I don't feel like making a mess right now with it. But that is what it looks like. It's a really pretty blue color. You can see it has a bit of shimmer to it. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Next thing we got is Multi-Chrome Liquid Eyeliner by Charmacy Global. I'm sure I said that wrong. Um, this is the box it comes in. This retails for $12. I'm excited about the idea of a, a dual chrome eyeliner and we're definitely going to swatch it because I'm definitely going to use this. I'm not really sure how um, what kind of look I'm going to make with it. I think I need to make a, a tutorial of some sort with this on it because that's cool. Um, but yeah, this is 
This is the container before I swatch it. I was about to swatch it, y'all. I'm gonna show you this first. Okay, so in this, it does look like really, really red. But on my hand, oh, well, that's interesting. In person, it's actually showing more of a gold. That's what it's reflecting. But like, it's interesting because on camera, I just see the red. Let's see if I can get the gold to show. Kind of, nope, there it is. See, it's more of a gold there. And then it's red, gold. Okay, the last thing in this is a palette called Mermaid Tells by Mermaid Skills Cosmetics. And this looks like an exclusive for Ice Cream Beauty. Um, this is what it looks like. And here are the colors. Now I do have a lot of palettes with those colors. Um, it is kind of calling me as far as the theme, but I think I'm gonna stick this into a future giveaway because I want to share the joy of these fun palettes with other people as well. So I am going to set that aside for somebody else. All right, so the next box we got is Kinder Beauty Box. This is known for being more of the natural granola type makeup lines, and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing we got is Collagen Boost Sheet Mask from 100% Pure. It is Intensive Collagen Boosting Treatment. Um, I like my face mask, so going to be using it. That's what it looks like. I don't really know much about this particular face mask, but you know, I'm, I'm still gonna try it. Okay, next we have Coco Mask from Hour Meal. Um, this is very much a powder. There's a jar, I'm sure this is good, but I don't really like the stuff that you have to mix. I like them already pre-mixed. So this is going to go into a future giveaway as well. Okay, so I'm really not keeping a lot of that out of this box this time. It's just not doing it for me. Um, this is Jane Arundel Volumizing Mascara. This is actually a premium brand for makeup. Like their makeup is generally really good. I just don't really care for the natural lines of mascara. I've yet to find one that outperforms some of the other mascara that I've used which is unfortunate. But I do think this is a really good brand and I do think that like if you're into natural beauty, this is definitely the way you wanna go for mascara. Okay, so this is a facial cleansing bar from La Rose and, or I guess it says La Rose by Dr. Botanicals. It does smell like rose, does smell really good, but um, I'm not going to keep it. I don't usually use bars of soap on my face. Sometimes I do, but generally not so much. I just feel like somebody else will probably appreciate and use this more than me. So that is going to go into a future giveaway as well. All right, last thing in this box is Calm Mood Mist from Cardia Asset. I think that's right. That is the box right here. And let's see, I guess this is like aromatherapy is what this is. When I first saw it, I thought maybe it was, um, it was kind of like a setting spray or something for your skin. I don't know, but like it's not. I, I've looked at it. Um, it's meant to like enhance your mood. So let's see what it smells like. Okay, this smells good. It has kind of a sage citrus smell to it. I think that smells good. All right, last box is the Ipsy Boxy Charm box. All right, the first thing in that is Anastasia Stick Blush from Beverly Hills. I've never really been in, um, into Anastasia's beauty products in general. Um, I know she was really big at one point and then she kind of lost the fan base. I think I had like maybe one palette and a couple glosses from her and that was it. I just just wasn't feeling it not saying it's good or bad it's just I don't know but anyways I did want to try this because at one end you got the brush here which I like and the other end you have the product and this is a nice neutral color let's go ahead and swatch okay there it is swatched we're gonna take the brush and see I think that's gonna be really nice to work with and play with I mean, it doesn't move too much, which I don't want it to when, once it's on my face. 
It's still movable. I like it. I'm eager to see what kind of look I can create with it. Okay, the next thing we got here is Gloss Mod Modern. I guess that's right. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but it's Clean Luxury Perfume Oil in Rose Bulgare All Time. So I do like anything rose, honestly. I don't know much about this brand. I do like fragrance oils. They were a little bit different. Sometimes you want to carry it with you. This is kind of small. Um, if I remember right, this does retail for quite a bit. But let's see how it smells. Oh, this is nice. This does smell like luxury. It does smell like money. I will admit that. I really do like that. That's really nice. So this I did pick from it and I, I already know I'm not going to keep it because I have a lot of palettes like this but I thought it would be a nice palette to put into a future giveaway. This is Seattle London. This is the Olive palette. I have a few Olive themed palettes already which is why I'm not really eager to keep another one. This is what it looks like. Nice green color. And this, this is the palette itself. I think that's really beautiful. There's enough neutral colors here to work with to make, to really make it pop and look really pretty. Okay, so the next thing we got here is Ace Beauty Effortless Radiance Loose Setting Powder. That was a mouthful. I usually do keep setting powder because I do use it. I don't go through it fast like a lot of people because I don't bake, but I do use it because I like the way it makes my skin look. This is what it looks like on the outside and I think that color is going to be just fine for me. And the last thing in this is Seat London Brazilian Glow Eye and Face Palette. That is what it looks like at the box anyways. Let's go ahead and look at the palette itself. This is something I am going to keep because when I saw it, it again seemed like something good for travel again I don't really travel but like I like the idea of having stuff on hand when I do because uh, I don't want to pack tons of stuff and this looks pretty good like you've got everything you need to do a full face right there you just need your eyeliner and mascara and a gloss and you're done like these or maybe a foundation or whatever but like as far as like eyes and all that stuff that's that's it like you got your highlight here, you could use this for a little contour if you want. You could use, this is the blush, that could be a highlight too. Just depends on you. These are all good for eyes. I mean, you can even mix it up a little bit if you want. So, I think I think this is a great palette and I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably going to use it. I'm not swatching it right now. I don't know why. I don't have a reason. Um, if you want me to do a look with it, let me know. Um, any of the products that I said I was keeping, I'll gladly do a look with if you would like. Uh, if you want reviews on any of the skincare, let me know and I will do that as well. Anyways, that is it of this video. Let me know what items you liked down below. What kinds of, th what kinds of things would you like to see me do with them? Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video.